All right, so it is the 20th of December. Um, I just thought I'd come out. I booked two days off work, um, and I don't know if it's lucky or not, but, um, <coughs> sorry, I booked them off about three weeks ago, um, and now it's come down to the actual date. Um, for the last nine days, it's been like minus five, right down to minus 10 and a half. Um, everything's been frozen. And then, two days ago, that totally turned on its head. It jumped from minus four, I think it was, in the morning. And then by the night, it was plus 11, and it was absolutely hammering down. I know that this place flooded. I could see it on the river as we come down when I was coming to work the other morning. And, um, yeah, so we've gone from totally flooded, something just turned over there, to looking like a comfortable winter's day fishing. Now, technically, it's not winter yet. Um, winter solstice is tomorrow, or tonight. So the 21st of December, tomorrow, the shortest day of the year. Um, I'm gonna fish most of it and then head off home. Well, that, that was a duck. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so I've walked on the lake since I got here probably two hours ago, and I've literally seen nothing about them ducks. Uh, one angler, only one angler fishing. I think he was coming down for an hour, but uh, yes, I haven't had a good winter. Um, had COVID for the second time, put me out of action for at least two weeks, um, and again, couldn't be bothered. And now I've had a chest infection up until, well, I've still got a bit of it, but um, it's working its way out. So hopefully, once the calendar kicks over and everybody celebrates the fact that we've got a new calendar, um, I'll get a bit more time on the bank. Right, I shall see you once I'm set up. You can tell nobody else is on the lake, can you? Here they come, straight away. Come over to check me out, see what I've got. Good job, I'm fishing. Today I'm going to be fishing small bags with maggots. And these buggers have got no reason to bother me. But they will. are out, um, a mixture between uh, pop-ups and maggot rigs. I got one with a pop-up and a maggot rig on top of it. But um, yes, yeah, it's all Scopex, pretty much Scopex, apart from the one maggot rig I tried out. It is freezing. There is no cloud coverage tonight, um, which I was hoping for. Uh, it was, it's literally what? I don't even know what time it is. It is quarter to seven. And... let oh, drop that. Um, yeah, it's quarter to seven. There is steam coming out of my mouth. Just from being outside. You really can't see it on the camera. And it is freezing. <laughs> I've got my big thick thermal jacket. So anybody that's wanting to fish winter, um, I would say one of the main things you need, which I haven't got, is a hat. I got a baseball cap, but um, yeah, it's one of the things that keeps people alive because you lose so much body heat through your head. Um, I'll just pull my hood up once I finish filming, and yes, and make sure you've got a tidy sleeping bag if you're going to do a night. I've got... Doo -doo -doo, I've got my Arctic class army sleeping bag and I've tucked it inside the old um, Five Seasons uh, Tracker Big Snooze, I think it is. So I'll tuck that inside. Oh, it is inside. I'll climb into that later. Um, it'll literally create a warm little pocket for me and I'll stay warm all night. 
if you are going to go out fishing when you know there's going to be a frost and I think there's going to be a frost this morning or in the morning so the, the winter solstice will arrive with a frost I believe anyway um, unless of course it clouds over in the night and the temperature rises a little bit but it is it is really cold tonight but let's, let's just hope something is mooching around looking for a bit of maggots look, looking for a bit of pop-up and um, I'm not sitting here freezing my absolute ass off for nothing <laughs> right I'll see you guys later It was <laughs> so we're officially started um, winter. It's the 21st of December now, and um, yes, yeah, nothing during the night. It absolutely hammered down. It was forecast uh, potentially a bit of rain for about half an hour. I think it rained for about six hours last night. I got out of the bivy about 3 a.m. I think it was, and. Um, the water levels had risen a little bit and it did put me on edge and then it stopped raining so so I wasn't going to be flooded off the peg <laughs> but uh, yes yeah, nothing no fish last night uh, not much sleep either but uh, I was I was quite warm inside my two sleeping bags but uh, yes so I checked the rods put them back out one of them was trotted up the other one all the maggots had gone um, so fresh baits or fresh maggots on, I think I threaded one had 10 maggots over the top of a boilie and the other one had 10 maggots or 14 maggots, I was counting them when it went on, um, over a piece of pop-up corn. Um, and the other one, just just a scopex pop-up in the margins. You never know, you never know. I think maggots could be a good winter bait, but then also I picked them up in pop-ups, picked them up in bottom baits. I think I did a Christmas blog years ago and I had one on double bottom bait. It was only they were only uh, ten mil baits, but uh yes, it, they just seemed to be working at, at the time and they did. So uh yes, I'm gonna go and make myself a cup of coffee and wait for this potential winter solstice sunrise which um doesn't seem to be happening. It's just well the skies are lighting up over there, it's all right. The clouds are lighting up. But the uh, the ground is cast in the shadow. There's no real sunrise yet. But uh Right, let's get a coffee on the go and I'll speak to you later. There we go. Sunrise for the winter solstice. You can see it lighting up the bank over there while it's raining and we've got a rainbow. A very picturesque, brilliant to take all the stuff from soaking wet. <laughs> it's quite vivid that rainbow, see? Mm -hmm. Looks like it's coming right down underneath the Christmas tree. Perhaps I should have set up there. Right there. I think it's the closest I've ever seen a rainbow come down. But, yeah, is that a sign? Get over there and uh, check a rod out by the Christmas tree. Or not, I'm not going out in the rain. So we got a cormorant cruising straight through my th two of my baited spots. Where's he gonna pop up? You can see his ugly little head popping up. 
areas. So I'm suddenly thinking, pack things down and move, but it's on and off raining, which it makes it really awkward. There's another stinking bugger over there, drying his wings. Look at him. Where's he? There he is, flapping himself, drying his wings. All the things. So I believe cormorants aren't naturally buoyant. And this is why they they're a coastal bird and not a, a seafaring bird. Because they need to dry their feathers because it takes on water and they slowly sink. When you see a cormorant swimming along, you can see that they, they're struggling to maintain buoyancy. There he is there, is he? Oh, he's died. You can see he's swimming around and literally is only his head is popping up. He's down there picking off anything that's all the little silver fish for the boys in the summer so they have nothing left. Where's his ugly there popping up now? There he is. He's doing a patrol of the lake. Right, so I'm on to uh Coffee number two, except my gas canister keeps playing up. There's not much left in it, but because um, it's not exactly warm, it's not wanted to come out the canister. Maybe I'll, I'll blast through for a couple of seconds then, and then it will trickle down to like a little little flame and not boil the kettle for me. Uh, yeah, let's have another coffee and think about uh, putting the big stuff in the car and then maybe wandering around. It's cold. The car, I imagine the car is going to be pulled up in different little areas. People, from what I have seen, on, because there's no Facebook pages, I believe that one or two have been caught in the shallows and one or two have been caught down in, um, down in the snags area. Um, but I picked this peg because the wind was powering up this way and this is where the wind hits from the bigger bowl of the lake. That was my thinking behind it. Whether that, I, that hasn't seemed to work actually, is it? So, um, yeah, well, gas is done back again. I love that. Yeah. Shake, shake, give this gas canister a quick shake every 15 seconds during coffee time. Blasting through. I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, so I think in it's I think it's about ten o'clock now, isn't it? Just gone. Ten oh two. Um pack things down, give it an hour, maybe up the shallows. If that fails, give it an hour down the snags. There's one other angler that's just turned up, so I'm not the only one here now. Stupid enough to come out in this kind of conditions, but um we shall see, we shall see. The whole, whole point of coming out today was just to get anything on the bank. And to be fair, I'd be happy if it was a bream at the moment. But um, the bird life are voracious, is it? They, anything that goes onto the bottom, they're literally checking it out, dragging it about. There's deep diving birds that I've never seen before on you before. Um, and there's the ones that usually don't bother you in the summer and now they're annoying you in the winter. But, uh, yes, I don't know. I want to catch a fish and I know that probably moving is going to be the best option. So I'm going to pack things, put what I can in the car and then wheel the barrel around with surplus bits. But I've got the barrel up on its side now, draining with all the rain that we had last night. My chair is on the side with water dripping through the sponge because I didn't bring it in. Um, it's not meant to be comfortable fishing in the winter, is it? <laughs> right, I shall see you once I've had my coffee. Well, I moved over to the shallows. Um, took longer than I thought to get motivated. But, uh, 1,001 birds over here, 
Still working behind me. Having a jolly old time. But, uh, yeah. I haven't seen anything, so I don't know. It's very optimistic. You never know, though. As you can see, the light's starting to fade. It's getting dark. The sun's starting to set. It's only something, what is that? Coming up to half past three. <laughs> Technically, well, not technically, it is the shortest day of the year today. Um, yes, I've had to reset all the rods after two Canada geese decided to have a fight. And while one was holding on to the other one, the other one launched its way through the rods, snapped one of the lines off, and the others were dragging birds and stuff. So. I had to retie one rod and then tidy up the others and then read them back in, reposition them. So, yeah, it's lots of cast in when I don't really want to be. We've got about an hour left before it's pitch black, so we'll, uh, hopefully, this is bike time. Okay, so it's um, it's coming up to five o'clock. It's absolutely freezing. All I've had since I got here was a single beep, and I think it's time I backed it up. Uh, one of the rods is already in. Swan went through it, and I thought there's no point casting that back out. Um, and that's literally all the action I've had: single beep, swans, and Canada geese trash in the rods. Um, probably wasn't worth the move to be fair. I could have stuck it out all day on that peg and sat in the bivy quite nice and warm but uh, it would have meant dragging all the stuff over in the dark which I, I don't have to do now. But um, yes, I think this is the last session of the year. Maybe I'll try and get out with the boys on New Year's Day, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, see what the weather's like. I'm not going to take it out, it's going to be horrible, bit of cold and wet. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Right, I'll catch you guys next time I'm on the bank. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs>